So. Yesterday, I was grumpy. You know, and it happens. It's it, try to make a vlog every day or at least film. And some days, I'm just grumpy. Now, is that compelling content, me being grumpy? Probably not. Is it still funny? Yes. <clears throat> I gotta start my vlog and stop bitching about May the 4th. It is the most annoying thing. It is. Well, the best, there was two years and I was into it. Well, I'm glad I never saw it. Cause well, it was before I knew you. Thank God. I'm just annoyed by a lot of weird things today. Probably has been in the house too long. I got this guy. It's on a business. I will, I will. I'll hit you off. Yeah, it is, it is. Well, I love it, I love it. I'm, I'm oh, now your camera ready? Yeah, I'm okay, ready. cool. Um, what you got? Don't show my First video. off, fuck you. Why? You know why. why. You should know why. I posted a May the 4th be with you thing today. What oh. the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, seriously, explain it to me. Explain to me how you're so on George Lucas's nuts that every fucking year, I know I'm being I, uh, petty. Why? I saw, I saw it as an opportunity to post a to great To piss Star me Wars off? Picture. It wasn't a great Star Wars picture. You can't I even tell it's you. It's not me. Oh, well that's- I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I never really liked Star Wars. Oh, yes, you did. Uh, you love the Phantom Menace, don't you? <laughs> okay, no, that's like the second yes, portion. Yes, you do. The only one that's worse is the one where you flip around mm -hmm. and see like a- That one's better. No, Yoda. It's, it's better. Man. Oh my, it's so much worse. We should never Ninja see Yoda. Yoda. Yoda's better than And Fortnite brought back the lightsaber. Yeah, it's all fucking stupid. Uh, and people are gonna call me a hater. I don't fucking care. I have Star Wars tattoos. I, I can still agree. think the May the 4th be with you. First off, I got Star Wars tattoos removed. Here's the thing though. I think where I agree with you is they just kind of snuck it in. A few years ago, people said it and it was a funny thing. Now it's literally become a Star Wars holiday. People who are every other day of the week smart and intelligent are waiting to be fucking idiots and just say, <laughs> like May the 4th be with you. I it's not even the force. It's some nerdy derpy person saying fourth you know, as in fourth oh, it's so like a list. it's like your boy that you go travel with it's greek it is oh greek God. in a fucking holiday and everyone just piles into it like because they saw star wars one time i don't understand why i'm alone with it we made the fourth discontinue bike 25 miles yes i saw that you're a fucking crackhead i'm ready are you sore um you have to be yeah would you just take the trail downtown and back no, it's like 13 where I miles picked up the bike i just jumped on it and came home that's funny your ass doesn't hurt not really dude Brandy my does. seat Brandy he goes, I don't even think I can sit on my bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second day I went and rode, I wanted to cry. I'm seriously gonna cry. And I remember that from my road bike, but I was younger, you know, yeah. and I was more eager. I was now I'm old and fragile and I hate May the 4th. So god damn it, May the 4th. Bike supplies coming. What else do you have? I got a cup holder on my I don't have a cup holder. Actually, dog, I bought two. It was a two for one deal. So nice. you can have my other cup holder. Hell yeah. I got two water bottles, which you can have one of. Nice. So my shocks are air shocks. Unscrew the top and just like like filling a tire, you go. Sh oh. You like hit a bump and come down. It's like, kah, 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 like Michael Jordan admitted that the Jordan One was uncomfortable. Be the Last Dance. He that said must have been amazing. that he couldn't wait to take those shoes off his feet and his socks were filled with blood. The best part is that some people are super upset. I saw a tweet that said, I can't take this documentary seriously, the, the them letting Jordan say that about those shoes. Other people are still arguing that they're comfortable and I'm like, dog, why are you arguing with me and Michael Jordan? Yeah. For years, for yeah. years y'all been arguing with just me. Now you're arguing with me and MJ. So and like, what are you, yeah, show. what are you even doing? People are gonna say, oh, was a size too small? It doesn't matter. Then people are gonna say, I find Jordan's comfortable. Good for you. I bet you we go yeah. walk around Tokyo together. You're gonna complain about your feet hurting before me. I bet yeah, you. Even yeah. if I got 100 pounds on you, I'll bet you. A lot yeah. of t-shirts got shipped this morning. The rest will get shipped later. And honestly, some hoodies will be shipped tomorrow. And that should almost wrap it up. So we've got a uh, new lookbook coming for friends and family. I just sent that over to Scruff. Oh, I did some paintings. Let's see. I don't remember the last, I think just this one since the last vlog. This one, because this one was in the, I'm pretty sure that this one made it into the last one. Really also fucking sick of cooking and cleaning. I'm over it. Not a political statement. I'm sick of cooking and cleaning. Cooking some bacon right now. Doing kettlebells every morning. A little bit of bike riding, but my fucking ass hurts. So I'm waiting on my new seat. It's gonna be a podcast on my birthday, Wednesday, May 6th. Seis de Mayo. Uh, we're moving to Vegas, as you've heard over and over if you're watching the vlog. So we got a lot of packing to do. I mean, we have so much stuff. I honestly want to sell just about everything I own. Way too much clothes. I have way, way too much clothing. I really honestly never need to buy clothes. A small pile of stuff that I actually wear and just get rid 
of everything else, but there's a lot of shit. Trapped in the house shit. I guess it's not the worst thing when you have to fucking pack up and start organizing, but damn if it's not daunting. And then we have a public drop. Friends and family has access right now. Product will drop on our website for the public, teddy.com on Saturday at 10 a.m. But you can go to the website now and browse with your eyeballs and see what we have available. Do appreciate the support. It is 100% how we continue to do all this. But yeah, we also got the plug, the Australian plug, my man Brian Jordan. I can't remember your at. I was gonna hit you up on Instagram and say thank you. The Dorito Mountain Dew has come in. We did some taste testing. Oh, will you give me that box from Australia so I don't have to go get it? It's on camera if you say no. People are going to judge you. I'm taking the blame. They'll judge me. They'll say, Teddy, get your lazy ass up and get yourself. But you're closer. Look how much closer I am. At I'm least like, six feet. What? I could touch you if I reached out. Your arms like, are three feet tall. Long. My arm is three feet tall. How fucking tall are you? 5'11"? 5'9"? What? 5'7"? What do you think I am? I have no idea how tall you are. Almost 5'6". So, one arm is two... Yes, yeah, so you're only is, like three is, feet away. It's 2.78 Shut up. feet long. I do math fast in my head. What I do? I made a movie about me. Maybe you've seen it. It's called A Beautiful Mind. Two boxes? Oh, because one's for Ernie. Well, one's for Brandy. Mm, helmet. Why don't they use your snowboard helmet? Isn't it the same thing? No! Really? I didn't know that. I thought it was just the same thing. I, I did it I, yesterday in my 50 miles. You wore a helmet? Yeah. What is wrong with y'all? It's the only helmet I have. So this Bro, y'all needed skateboarding in your youth. Wearing fucking helmets on a bike ride on a bike trail. I know someone in the comments is going to have something to say. Did you wear a face mask and a helmet? You have to be protected when you give yourself a fucking heart Yeah, when you have cardiac arrest <laughs> from going 50 miles. Did you wear a face mask and a helmet? No, I didn't wear a face oh. mask. Look, we got a surprise package, dog. I know what's in there. It's all the way from your favorite land. Your favorite land. Your favorite people. Australia? Yeah. Hey. I beat an Australian last night 1v1. Big nice. Butters, he was talking shit in Twitch. We 1v1 with snipers. Yeah. He fell to my wrath. For the car unboxing, it's a new thing we're doing. What? Be careful. Yeah, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. The Mountain Doritos. Yeah, the Mountain Pack is so good with air that they're still in perfect condition. Son, they don't know about it. Oh, no note. Come on. I can't remember who sent them. Like three people said they were going to send them. Some people couldn't find them. Brian. Brian Jordan? Jordan Brian? Yeah. Jordan Brian. Brian Jordan. Thanks for the plug. We got to do a taste test. For sure, a taste test. A little quality. We might use this for the next catalog. Oh. Screenshot that, B. Menard. All right, we ready to taste test one of these? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he looks at the bag. The bag looks back. They're sweet. Mm. It tastes like sweet lemon lime. Not like Mountain Dew. I like Mountain Here. Dew. Let's draw that. It's all the seasoning is yeah. evenly distributed. See. It is like Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is kind of lemon lime, right? Do they have energy in them? Because it says Mountain Dew energized. Are these caffeinated chips? That would be amazing even more. They're actually not bad. It doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. Not really. It tastes like lemon lime. They're not bad. They're not great. They're not bad either. The smell is something to get used to. Yeah. Alex, come here. You got it. It's the first thing we all ate. Come on. Everyone has to try it. I'm about to go get John. John, come outside. Mountain, Mountain Dew energized. <laughs> Give it a full spectrum. Come on. <laughs> Omar wants one. No. I mean. Do you think it tastes like Mountain Dew? Kind of tastes like like lime chips. Yeah. They're not terrible, but they're not great. No, I I 100% agree with you. There's a three health star rating. Oh. Soapy so fresh. Soapy so fresh. Hop around the yard, doing my best. Boom boom do. <laughs> what? Are you jealous? You want a Dorito? You want a Dorito? You can't have one. You can't have one. They're not four dogs. So oh, the results are, they're okay. They don't, re they kind of taste like Mountain Dew. It's like they have a caffeinated sparkle taste to them. They don't necessarily taste like Mountain Dew. They taste like Mountain Dew if Mountain Dew was a chip. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of close, I don't know. This doesn't really taste, it kind of tastes like Mountain Dew, but not really. A lot of people are asking me to review shoes again. A lot of my older videos are getting watched a lot during this quarantine. People are, are confused and some people just want me to return to shoe review. As soon as something comes out that that intrigues me, I'm, I'll be back. Going to Vegas, I'm gonna be at uh, Urban Necessities probably a lot, you know? Wink, wink. Relax, we'll see what happens, you know? But there's a lot in this next couple of months that is just gonna be fucking ridiculous. I love to be gallivanting around another country right now or 
state and doing all this other stuff, but I can't. So I'm just doing my thing, dog. I'm just cooking 80 times a week, working out every morning and uh, waiting for my bicycle seat. So I'm going on some long ass bike rides, not 50 miles like our friend Erin. Yeah, 50 miles was a mistake. I don't know, it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. 50 miles on the bike with no shocks. All the parks by the water, there's people out everywhere. Like, you heard about mutant corona, yeah. right? No, oh, what's that one? Now? It's mutated now. No. Yeah, now it's even more deadly. No. That's what they said this morning. I thought it's supposed to get weakened. Oh, oh no, now it's like super jack corona. Damn. Corona roids. That one. You have to wear two masks. Ask Aaron how far of a bike ride he went on yesterday. How far did you ride your bike yesterday? 50 miles. What? <laughs> You wonder why you hurt yourself. You're like, I'm gonna be completely out of shape and just crush it. No shocks. I thought- He has air shocks and they're empty. Yeah. You I can't reach to your Frisbee. <laughs> Bring it, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Almost. I still can't reach that. I still can't reach that. Off. Hey, off of it. Dude, my arm looks like shit. Because you burnt it? Yeah. 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 That's why your tattoo's not finished. Because you burnt the shit out of your arm. You wanted me to just do over it. I was kidding. <laughs> but, you know, longer than three or four miles. This is brand new bicycle seats. Whew. Unforgiving. Podcast tomorrow is 10 a.m. is when we do it. It's live at 10 a.m. if you want to join. And uh, other than that, business as usual. I will check back in with you from the bunker in a few more days.